Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to show you what I think about Affinity Photo as a vector art app. So is it possible? It is not impossible, but there is a lot of work. If you want to use Affinity Photo solely for vector artwork, I'm afraid this is um, very, very time consuming because Affinity Photo only has two tools for vector artwork, which is pen tool and the notes tool. So the pen tool, yes, you can do polygon, you can do lines, you can do you know, point by point you can draw, but if you are looking to creating circles or squares or triangles or stars, it is not going to be easy to do it in Affinity Photo alone. If you want all those things, I would recommend using a dedicated vector art app, such as Vectornator Pro or the graphic app of PhotoSketch or even InkPad. What I do with Affinity Photo is that I would actually export my completed work. For example, in graphic app, which I'm going to show you now, I did this uh, sometime back. I'm just going to export this into an SVG file directly into Affinity Photo. So as you can see, the layers are all intact, the mask and all that things. So if you can see, all these layers are preserved very well. And you can actually use your pen tool or your notes tool to manipulate each and every notes and each and every layer, all those vectors, however you want. The good thing about Affinity Photo is that you can actually add adjustment layers. And this is what I usually do because I use Affinity Photo mostly for post-processing, which means I add adjustment layers, I add filters, etc, etc. All those fancy things that make your end product look great. So I actually can use my vector art, for example this, this picture of, uh, of Spider-Man, which I created last uh, a few weeks ago. I'm just going to add an adjustment layer to this artwork and then I'm also going to add some filters. Now, the thing about Affinity Photo is that once you add an, if you add an adjustment layer, there is no problem with the underlying layers because Affinity Photo, it is, it is not a destructive process. However, if you are going to add filters inside Affinity Photo, uh, Affinity Photo is going to rasterize that layer and then you can apply that filter. It is a destructive process. You are no longer able to manipulate all those nodes. So basically, if you are thinking of just using Affinity Photo to create vector artwork, I would say it is not impossible. It is possible, but it's going to be very time consuming. I would suggest that you try out the dedicated vector app, such as PhotoSketch or the graphic app, which I, which I always use. And then once you're done with that, you can import into uh, Affinity Photo to do post-processing to do some adjustments or additions or minor minor details to that final artwork. So that's my take on Vector Pen Tool and the Notes Tool inside Affinity Photo. However, if you have the patience and you do not want to try out all the dedicated vector apps which are currently uh, on the store now, you can actually wait for Affinity Designer which is coming up uh, for the iPad. So you can wait for that or you can try out all the current, uh, currently available vector drawing apps which is in the store right now. So I hope this video helps you in your decision to try out those apps or to rely on Affinity Photo. So if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe because I do have uh, more videos planned up uh, for next week. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.